Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you don't already know, my name's Jim Overton, and um, I've just finished this bowl, which is slightly different to the other things I've been doing in that it doesn't contain any milliput. Uh, this is using other epoxy resins and perspex or acrylic sheet, clear acrylic sheet. Um, I've run out of milliput, so uh, and the local shop where I usually get it didn't have any. So uh, there it is. I'm just trying to get the best angle to show you that. But the last, it's similar to the last project I did, but it was a bit one-dimensional. The last project or two-dimensional. So this one I wanted a bit more depth. So by using clear, uh, you know, transparent acrylic in three different colours, I've created the depth, and I've. It's almost like lead light windows, that's what I wanted. And it's um, done in Castello boxwood, uh, which is absolutely beautiful to turn. And if you can ever get hold of any, then give it a go. It's wonderful. Uh, I mean, I used to make chess pieces out of it, and it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, but there we are. That's how I've done it. Then I'll show you some of the little pieces. There we are, there's the little squares I cut out. Um, there's three millimeter perspex or acrylic sheet in orange, red, and yellow. I got them off of eBay. Don't know if you can see those. But uh, there we are, they're clear. I left the coverings on them for as long as possible because they come with cellophane over protective coating on them and I left those on for as long as possible while working to stop them getting scratched. Uh, no, and there's a lot there uh, that are set into that. But it's come out really nicely. I'm very pleased with that. Um, yeah, and it's certainly got a very three-dimensional look to it. I started off by sticking them in with epoxy resin that I'd coloured white because I wanted a nice light background behind them so you could see the translucency. Otherwise, I think they all go a bit dark. And uh, I've grouted them in, in effect, uh, did the lead work with epoxy resin that I coloured black. Uh, and I put all that around the tiles and then I cleaned, you know, I'd let the tiles set on the white resin first. Then I put the black on one, once it was all set and I wiped off all the excess black and used acetone to clean it all up. So the black is actually slightly lower than the tiles now, which gives a lovely effect. Uh, it's come out really just how I wanted it. Slight colour bleed of, or slight bleed of the epoxy resin into the grain in a couple of places. Next time I'd probably put a bit more wax uh, around the rim to stop that happening. Um, yeah, but uh, I'll show you what I've been using. That's the epoxy resin West Systems G Flex uh, epoxy. Uh, it's just the right viscosity for this sort of work. It's not too thick. It's a really good epoxy resin. Uh, I think it's one of the best you can buy. It's so strong, really strong. It's one of the few resins that I will trust with my knife making when I do it for putting handles on knives, you know, fitting knife scales and things. Very slow setting, takes a long while to set, but all the better epoxies are slow setting, um, but really good. Uh, the other really strong epoxy that I like, which is slow setting, is Araldite Ultra, but um, it's rather thick compared with this, so not so good if you're mixing pigment powders and things with it. So that's what I used for this project, and like I say, the three millimeter acrylic or perspex. Um, I'll show you the resin, um, not the resins, the colours that I used. Now these are pure pigment powders. Um, made by Sennelier, which are really good quality pigment powders. Mars Black, which is an opaque black, and um, Titanium White, which is a, an opaque white. Um, very fine powders. Uh, these are two of the cheaper ones, because these can get very expensive, these pure pigment powders, but the black and the white are relatively inexpensive. Um, you know, you can get quite a big tub of them. I think these were £10 each, roughly online but you can pay for the more expensive pigments you can pay um you know up to 40 50 60 pounds for a little jar like this of some of the other colors 
uh, and the, if you're lucky you'll find some art shops where you can buy it by the gram they'll actually measure it out for you uh, which is really good because they don't have to buy quite such a large amount but here we are last look I'll try and take some stills in a minute and I'll put those at the end well thank you very much for watching and thank you very much to all my subscribers it's been fantastic I think I'm almost up to 800 now um, and I've had some lovely comments and thank you very much to everyone for taking the time to to watch and comment thank you very much yeah please like subscribe and share and I'll have another video coming soon thank you very much